We begin with breaking news out of Stark County. Right now, police and SWAT teams are at Indian River Juvenile Correctional Facility. This after reports of a riot and vandalism inside the building. Emma Henderson joins us live from the scene. Emma, what have you learned? Well, Neil, it's been pretty quiet over the past several hours. Right now, we know that a dozen people are involved in this. That's a dozen of the juveniles. And we are still waiting to hear exactly what's going on with those corrections officers who are still inside. As the sun set on Indian River Juvenile Correction Facility, family with loved ones inside are upset and want answers. I wish they had better correction facilities here. Uh, cops should be doing more enforcement. Not waiting for Columbus to come up and do the little thing. It's ridiculous. As they watch this barricade with the occasional person visible through the thick barbed wire fences, they can't help but think about corrections officer Upshaw, who was brutally attacked and still in the hospital, recovering as this unfolds. No one's accountable for their actions there at all. Amanda, anything you they want can't to even say? touch the children, the juveniles for. My husband is going to go. Families of corrections officers say they've seen many quit their jobs because of concerns about safety. We spoke with someone who says they quit last week. Very understaffed. Um, you would call for, sometimes you would call for a backup or sometimes they'll be slow a little bit. It was never too bad, but this right here is one of the reasons why I quit because these kids are inmates. They're not, they're not kids. He is thankful tonight as he thinks about his decision but worried about his former co-workers. You got all these people who got kids at home, you know, and it's unsafe, very unsafe. You know, I'm glad that they're, they are finally stepping up and getting this done. While all of this has been going on, another corrections officer was actually taken to the hospital with non-life-threatening injuries. Ohio State Highway Patrol says that is a separate incident than the actual standoff that's still going on, Neil. Emma, and one quick question while you're still down there. Has there been any indication that law enforcement or anyone down there would go inside? So we have seen that earlier today. The sheriff's department was here. The police department was here, but it is down to the state. This is a state facility, meaning it's their responsibility to take care of the inmates and everything else that is going on inside, Neil. All right, Emma Henderson in Stark County. Thank you, Emma.